Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing for you guys. Uh, this is another package that was sent by the good, the great, the Nick Shabazz. So thank you so much, Nick. I couldn't imagine if you were subscribed to my channel that you're not subscribed to Nick, but if you're not, go subscribe to Nick Shabazz because his content is awesome and that actually was the main uh, influence uh, for my channel. Please follow me on Instagram. Uh, at metal underscore complex if you haven't already that would be great and if you'd like to check out my patreon I do have some cool stickers and some other benefits. So there is a link down in the description All right, let's go ahead and get into this I know exactly what is in this box and I am pretty excited about it um, When this model was there's actually two things in here and one I'm gonna say you guys right now I've already I tried to remind myself the name of it before the video got started and I already forgot it um, but uh, it is a wild one for sure. All right, let's are we, let's open, let's do this one right here. We're gonna do that one real quick. What do we got? Yeah, this is the weird one. <laughs> oh my gosh, what the heck? How wild! So this is a CRKT. Boy, the only thing that stands out like a, the funny thing is the thing that sticks out like a sore thumb is the pocket clip. This is wild. Wow, what the heck, man? It's like a scarab beetle, a beetle and a, a, a folding knife came together and created a folding knife. That's <laughs> a really poorly constructed example. This is one of the weirdest knives that I have ever seen. Absolutely bizarre. But, you know, I commend CRKT uh, for working with the, whatever designer came up with this. Because this is not something that I have ever seen, and um, this is just absolutely wild. I mean, the whole, the symmetrical dagger looking thing, but mainly this big open area that's cut out of the blade is really interesting. Now, obviously, there's going to be a bunch of people quick to point out, oh my gosh, that would be completely useless, uh, you know, as an actual, you know, a knife that you're actually going to use, you know, or, you know, how, there, there's no utilitarian benefit to that. That is not who this was made for. There was, there was no, you know, no idea, you know, that was attempted to be pushed out, I would imagine, by CRKT and the designer where they're like, yeah, let's push this as like a, you know, a knife that's beneficial, you know, a as a user knife over other more practical knives. No, this is something that is meant to be crazy, meant to be ridiculous and striking, you know, the aesthetic. It's just, it it's almost like a, a feat of machining. Uh, to me, it's, CRKT going, look what we're able to create. And uh, yeah, I mean, if they're using this as like a big neon sign that says, hey, take a second look at us, um, well done. <laughs> You've got my attention. I had no idea CRKT was able to create something like this. This is wild. I can assure you we will be talking about this in depth. I have never seen anything. That's just absolutely ridiculous. All right. Now for the one that's I'm really, really interested in taking a look at. This is the uh, Andrew Demko AD20. How do you do this? I don't understand. Is there a, okay. Do you push? Do you just swing it out? <laughs> is that how you do it? That is really cool. I, I'm, gosh, if I'm missing something, people are gonna be making fun of me. Um, in the comment section for sure, but I think you just do that at the same time. Um, that's interesting. Fidget factor is off the charts, off the charts uh, with a design like that. But you know, because this is Andrew Demko we're talking about, uh, there is a massive emphasis on strength. Now, this is something that I've always uh, talked about with the cold steel triad lock. You know, there's so many people that claim immediately the triad lock is the best lock. There's no lock that's better. What they may or may not realize that they're saying is it's the strongest lock. And that is probably true, other than the other uh, locks that Andrew Demko has created, including the Scorpion lock and then this thing right here. The problem with the Cold Steel Triad lock is that it is nowhere near as convenient as some of the one-handed locks like the compression lock, the frame lock, the liner lock, the axis lock, blah, 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 blah. 
those are much more convenient and have a uh, you know an amount of strength that is totally and completely um, you know uh, capable as far as what you're actually going to put the knife through. The triad lock might be the strongest, but it is so far above and beyond what any normal person or even people using their knives in hard use settings would ever really need. It's like that there's excess strength there that you don't need and then it's just more difficult to manipulate with one hand. It's I'm not saying it's impossible, I'm saying it's more difficult, it's less convenient. Let's put it that way, it's less convenient. This guy on the other hand matches that, once I get this down, it matches that convenience with strength and at the same time um, you uh, uh, have some fidget factor in there. That is awesome. <laughs> this is super, super cool and I get... I get hinderer vibes from this, which really makes me feel good. I love that he made that into, it doubles as a ramp. So you have kind of two positions here, you know, depending on where you want to really bear down on it. But yeah, the uh, what you'd have to do to disengage it is pull straight back. So I just first impressions, I was wondering, I was like, how likely would it be to accidentally disengage that? This is interesting. I was, my finger wants this to be a flipper tab, but when you pull it, all it does is release the, the deal right there. Oh man, this is cool. Everything functions. I mean, you literally have one, <laughs> two, three means of deployment. <laughs> and you can still do all that fun, like crazy. That's awesome. Man, what a beast of a knife. That is so impressive. I cannot wait to just dive into this and talk. I'm so pumped. Guys, Check out Nick Shabazz on Instagram and on YouTube. Thank you so much for sending uh, these guys. These are really cool, and um, I'm sure people will be interested to see them on the channel, talked about in depth. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram. Guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's unboxing. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.